Right now, everybody's thinking about the news and the truth all of a sudden. They're starting to wonder, hmm, maybe the news isn't always telling the truth. Maybe the news is reporting some things in a way that fits their agenda so that people will think what they want them to think. Which is great, I think, because people should realize just how biased all of the media really is. Here's a great example of that. Slate Magazine is a media outlet that covers politics here in the U.S., among other things. It was originally made by Microsoft as a part of MSN. Then it was bought by the Washington Post. All of those are left-leaning entities. I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying it is. And all you have to do to prove that is to compare a few of the headlines that they've written recently. The first one is a headline from November 12, 2012, right after Obama won the presidential election. Now, Obama is a Democrat, so left-leaning slate was happy about his win. They thought the election went just fine in 2012, since their team won. They were happy with the turnout and the electoral college, the whole system. So the headline they wrote then was, in defense of the Electoral College, five reasons to keep our despised method of choosing the president. The article was all about why we must have the Electoral College, and it did a pretty good job of laying out its importance. Cut to now, after Donald Trump just won. Clearly, Trump's win was a huge win for Republicans, so left-leaning slate was not happy this time around. So, can you guess as to what their headline about the Electoral College was just now? Ready for it? The Electoral College is an instrument of white supremacy and sexism. Wow! Four years ago, Slate defended the Electoral College, and now not only is it an instrument of white supremacy, it's also an instrument of sexism. It's a double whammy of the worst, scariest, meanest things ever. This is how this outlet is choosing to freak out its readers. That's quite a different stance from four years ago, don't you think? I sure think so, which is why I think it's a perfect example of what everyone should be looking out for now that everyone's thinking all about what is news and what is truth. If you're really interested in truth, don't just look at one biased side of the story or another, because the truth is always somewhere in between. Tonight, let's talk about that.